Hieroglyphs are always read from top to bottom but sometimes you start on the left side, like in English, and sometimes on the right. The animals, birds or people used in hieroglyphs always face the beginning of the sentence so that tells you where to start. Egyptologist Jean-Francois Champollion was able to decipher the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs through the oval shapes found in the hieroglyphic text, which are known as karates and include the names of kings and queens. In the later stages of ancient Egyptian civilization, only priests were able to read hieroglyphic writing, according to James P. Allen in his book Middle Egyptian, an introduction to the language and culture of hieroglyphs. With the help of the Rosetta Stone, Jean-Francois Champollion created an alphabet of phonetic hieroglyphs. Other scholars were able to use it to translate the inscription completely. Thanks to the Rosetta Stone, Champollion was able to decipher the hieroglyphs. One measure of the difficulty of deciphering the hieroglyphic system is that it took 23 years after the Rosetta Stone's discovery to crack it. The main reason is that scholars had long assumed that hieroglyphs were only ideograms, signs expressing ideas. 